actually influence and create conversation. Yes, I knew it. I knew it was good for me. <laughs> I would say that that is definitely true, Mary. We've had some shows from the past like I Love Lucy or Father Knows Best that have influenced many generations. Uh, joining us now is the founder of the Classic TV Preservation Society, Herbie J. Pilato, to discuss the power of classic TV and self-esteem seminars. Welcome, Herbie. We are so glad to have you. Very excited. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love to be here. So how did this start, the self-esteem seminars? It started with the Classic TV Preservation Society, which is my nonprofit organization, which really came from the fact that I wrote about books. I wrote books about TV shows that had a positive influence on the viewers, like Bewitched and Kung Fu and The Six Million Dollar Man Your and The Bionic Woman. None that I've ever heard of. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. The classic I, I, can be a little <laughs> bit of a, you know, depending well, on it, the yes. person, the classic can be a little bit a different. I mean, different. For classic for me is 50s, 60s, and 70s. For you, it might be the 80s and the 90s. Hey, whoa, 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 <laughs> just, whoa. Just How say dare it. you pin me? Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's actually a Ageism, great point. Right? <laughs> right? Ageism. I mean, how have you, I mean, just as, a, you know, as somebody who watches TV and writes about it, big trend between or a, a difference between uh, classic television from the 60s, 70s, and 80s into like what you see now today? into I today's could, program? That's an excellent question. It, in, back in the day when you'd watch a classic TV show like Father Knows Best or even the Brady Bunch or the Waltons, there was a beginning, a middle, and an end. All of the characters looked different. Um, the characters acted different today on a lot of the sitcoms. It's like all all the characters are the same. They all t they're all sarcastic. They all roll their eyes. They're all mean spirited. They all look constipated, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and and there's no story, and there's no happy endings, and everything is edgy and dark, and that's okay. And there's a lot of talent out there, but they're not to me. They're not a lot of there's not a lot of likability in the new shows. And there's, uh, there's no sentiment, there's no heartwarming sentiment that's all been taken away from, uh, to, in place of uh, the edgy. So. so let's talk about the self-esteem uh, self seminars. Yes. Tell me how you came to that decision of Goodness. Well, I, I was a primary caregiver for my mother and for my father. So tw uh, towards the, the later years of my mother's life in particular, I started working with many of the senior centers that she would attend. And I thought, you know, I need to go communicate with, with these groups because a lot of her, her family had passed away and died. So I needed to create a family for her. So that's what I did. So in doing that, I started going to the facilities or to the senior centers that she went to just to be with her and then to meet her friends. And I started talking about the positive influence of classic TV, which many of these seniors identified with and so then I formalized it with the nonprofit organization and then I expanded it to schools and colleges and community centers and businesses where I talk about how it's all connected when you watch a TV show for a, a half hour or an hour over a certain amount of years it's got to have a positive influence on you there are people in this world who became attorneys because of Perry Mason sure. mm -hmm. or they became doctors because of Marcus Welby mm -hmm. or um, ER Right, ER. I was going to say, I, even to like similar, I remember watching Top Gun and thinking, I'm going to be a fighter well, pilot. See, and then there I you was go. Definitely not smart enough. But <laughs> fortunately, now I'm here. So, you know. It's, well, you know yeah, well I'm, <laughs> living, I'm living proof that classic TV has had a positive influence. I went on to write books because of classic TV. I went on to help educate others because of classic TV. So I'm like, you know, exhibit A. But it creates memories, and I think also what you're trying to achieve is communication and connection with yes, people. Yes, yes. Well, especially with the seniors. You know, when I go talk with seniors and I talk about Father Knows Best or even some of the older movies like Gone with the Wind, they light up. And then I involve them with, like, little activities or little theatrical productions of favorite episodes that they might have, and they can invite their family to the production. Mm -hmm. and, and they come alive because many of them feel at this point in their lives that they have no purpose right. or that they may have been abandoned or whatever, whatever issues they may have. For that half hour, that two hours that I spend with them, it ignites something in them, just like music does. Well, and it's, and it's long-term memories, too, yeah. and it is yeah. familiarity. Yes, yes. And even, even the idea of watching a show, I think people think when you plunk in front of a TV, you know, it's not a good mm -hmm. thing, but that's not what you're trying to promote. No. It's really more about Interactive. interaction. And so when you're connecting and Absolutely. talking and feeling comfortable about the topic, Yes. Um, 
there's there's no shame and there's there's pride and and they become stimulated all of those things absolutely and it's and it's heartwarming to me too i think i became a better person first of all in caring for my mother and father right. not that i was evil before but <laughs> <laughs> i learned to be more sensitive and more and more open to different ideas and to understand just how much uh, a senior person can bring to any relationship or can bring to the world and I wanted to give back and also to those experiences having influenced my work specifically with my books and in my scripts and you know I've written a, a script about my experience with my mom and caring for both my parents so it's also an educational for me as well this is, this is so fascinating. Do you find that there is one show that really sticks out when you go into these centers for people that they're like, that it seems like it's the most favorite of all time? Is there an all time like favorite? An episode oh, or an gosh. episode of, uh, like <clears throat> Lucy? I know, like my mom. You know, we're perfect. Everybody does Every, love Lucy. Right? I mean, if you, you, there are some shows from the, that era that kids today don't know, but somehow, some way, everybody knows Lucy at every age. That's so. And then, and so then, are they reenacting? Um, well, it, it depends. I mean, sometimes it? we um, we we write new scripts for them that are maybe based on their their, their character, you know, their favorite characters. So do you they then get an opportunity to probably put some input together on that? Absolutely, the, the creative thing. Absolutely, then they, um, actually get to pull from their short term memory a bit, and maybe display some of that. And if it's wrong, everybody just has fun. And That's right. It's helping to build their self-esteem and be comfortable in those settings, That's even right. with memory loss. That's right. And yeah, you fantastic. don't charge for tickets either, probably, for their family to come in. So it's the best performance, and I would. I would. And that? <laughs> yeah. now come to go see your parent perform. I mean, right. they've that, watched all of our things. Right. And how fabulous. Yeah, and, and the roles are reversed, role which reversal. they were. Yeah, that, yeah. As, as, as For me, I became the parent to my parents. Um, they became my children. So now, when these people come visit, um, or see these productions, they, they, yet yeah, you're right, it's like they're seeing their kids. That's amazing. That's Harvey, how do people get a hold of you? Um, they can c contact me through my website, classictvpreserve.org, or herbiejpilato.com, or they can email me direct at classictvps at gmail.com. Great success to you. I think Thank we'll be in touch. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. And uh, next Let's we have, next. I was going to say, one of my favorites, something I have no talent or business talking about, which I'm glad she's here. Anne-Marie Villacana is going to be our arts segment star, talking next with uh, her, her artist that she brought in, Mr. Eric Merrill. So I we are know, very fantastic excited. Fantastic artist. And we're looking forward to his landscape. Yep. Next.